I'm Lacey from loungeandlibation.com, a website where I review luxury loungewear, lingerie, and share some of my favorite cocktail recipes. So today's video is particularly exciting as I teamed up with Evgenia Lingerie. The owner asked me to create a cocktail inspired by her collection, Rebel, for Valentine's Day. So if you follow me on Instagram, you already know how much I adore this collection and how much I really like this small business. Um, before we get into the cocktail that I created though, let's briefly discuss the collection. The Rebel collection is inspired by a retro pinup and 1930s style nightwear. It's made of sumptuous silk blended velvet, silk trim, and French lace, creating timeless capsule pieces that you'll find yourself reaching for for years to come. Each piece is drafted, cut, sewn, packaged, and shipped by the owner. The sewing process takes anywhere from one to five hours until completion. Out of the collection, I own the bralette, thong, slip skirt, and bed jacket. The wrap bralette is comfortable, supportive, and sexy. The matching low-rise thong is easy to conceal under a slip skirt or dress without causing unflattering panty lines. My favorite of the collection is the sleep jacket and slip skirt. Perfect for lounging at home or for adding a little romance into your day wear. The sleep jacket pairs beautifully with high-waisted skinnies, a slip dress, or a pencil skirt. To give Rebel that rebellious look, I paired the slip skirt with an oversized tee, some combat boots, a red lip, and a moto jacket. Now on to the libation. So first we are going to start with ice in our shaker. I've got about three ice cubes in here. And then we are going to dress up the coupe glass with sugar and crushed food grade rose petals to give it a nice pretty look. So today's gin that I will be using is a French gin, it's Esme. It's distilled with rose petals and cucumbers. And I'm going to be using two ounces of that. I will be using half an ounce of the lemon juice. Half an ounce of simple syrup just to sweeten it up a little bit. You can use a little bit more if you like your drink sweeter. I will be using green chartreuse. I'm going to be using one fourth ounce this is really potent stuff. I did try using yellow chartreuse. I didn't think that it combined very well together. And um, I really like green chartreuse. And um, most people seem to like it. If you've never tried it before, I encourage that you go out and buy yourself a bottle. So I'm going to be using one fourth ounce of that. And we are only going to be using one drop of rose water. If you put any more in, it's going to be really overpowering and it may taste a little bit like soap. So start with one and if you feel like you need a little bit more, add a tiny bit more later. So one drop of that. I'm going to cap the shaker. Give it a good shake until the outside is nice and frosted. We'll be straining into our nicely decorated coupe glass. And if you'd like, you can put on some of those rose petals. I like how it looks on the top. I think it's pretty. And there you have it, the Rebel Cocktail. Whether you are celebrating Valentine's Day alone or with a significant other, it's always worth raising a glass to yourself and to love and reveling in some beautiful and chic lingerie. As always, be happy, be healthy, be well, be nice to each other. Cheers.